Hi, my name is Asad Fraser. I'm one of the rheumatologists with Graves Gilbert Clinic. I've been practicing here for 27 and a half years. Osteoporosis is a silent disease till you end up with the consequences associated with osteoporosis, that is namely the fractures, and that's what we need to prevent. Osteoporosis does not have any side effects till you end up with the fracture. And if you look at the studies, if someone ends up with a hip fracture, the mortality rate is very high. And it's been said that about close to 50% of people never regain their activity or daily living after a fracture of the hip. Some of them go to the nursing home and some never walk after that. So it's very important to treat it aggressively so that we don't come to that stage and cause this disability for the patients. The way we diagnose osteoporosis is by doing a bone density, which is also called the DEXA scan. Normally it's done every two years. They look at two sites in the body. They normally look at the back and the hip and they give you different readings and that will tell you what the peak age bone was supposed to be at age 20, and that's what's called the T-score, and that's what we diagnose the patients on with the T-scores. And now we also have a tool called the FRAC score, which tells you the probability of fracture in the next 10 years. So when you do the reading and look at the DEXA, we're looking not only the bone density itself, but we're looking at the FRAC score also. So if you need to treat someone, because we know their risk factor for fracture in the next 10 years is high, so we can give them treatment aggressively. The treatment of osteoporosis actually starts when people are young, in this early 20s and 30s. That's the time to build your bones. So it's very important to counsel young females and other patients that they need to be taking calcium and vitamin D at that age. Because if they don't have enough calcium and vitamin D when they reach postmenopausal state, then the bones are already weak and osteoporosis can set in much earlier. Well, obviously, when a patient comes to my office, I always take a good history, examine them if they've been postmenopausal. Or they do. We always measure their height because one of the effects of osteoporosis, you start losing height because of the compression fracture in the back, you start getting shorter. So I'll ask them how much have they lost, which gives you a little gauge that this patient might be developing osteoporosis. And of course, then they do the bone density, you know, and if you think that patient is, does not have adequate vitamin D, check a vitamin D level, because if you don't have vitamin D, you're not going to absorb the calcium. And if you don't have calcium, then the bones get weak. So everything ties in together. So, and once the bone density results come in, then we can sit down and discuss what the options are to build the bones at that time. Well, the biggest message I like to leave with everyone is that this is a silent disease. Don't wait till the end till you have a fracture. It's too late then. So you need to be pre uh, preventing your bone health much earlier than that. So you need to have exercise program, impact program for your bones, adequate calcium and vitamin D. And of course, if you have risk factors, then you need to be diagnosed with the bone density and be treated as needed.